So we uh, segment two, part two. Sorry about this, but YouTube really irrit is irritating. We can't do longer segments, but yeah, just got uh, getting ready to get a car. Might have to do the shock ken, which is the year uh, by by yearly, every two year inspection. I'm not sure. I think it's two or three. No, two, two. two years, when you buy yeah. a brand new car, it's three. Three. That's right. And that's then after the that, it's every yeah. two years. Uh, it's, we're we're getting a K car. We have a regular car. We're gonna get a K car, which is about six hundred and sixty cc car. That uh, it's a lot cheaper for inspections and insurance and gas and all in general. It's a small car, but perfect for one to you know. You can cram four people in there if you really want to. That's but the one with the yellow red Joe plate, isn't it? Yep, yellow uh, license plate. So K car, K jido shop in Japanese. Okay, other than that, um, hmm. Oh, we had a big crab feast. Up at them. Oh, very nice. Yes, yes. So I, I think it's a new tradition. Last year we had a one huge Alaskan crab in this huge pot. We boiled it. But this year my father in law got a whole bunch of, uh, there I think snow crab legs. Alaskan crab yes. legs, the snow ones. Not not the Alaskan crab, but the, 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 it's really thick and prickly, but they're really straight flush ones. They're easy to break and easy to eat. So we had two huge bundles and plates of crabs one for me one for the rest of the people there that's what my father-in-law said and I, I that's what I ate and I ended up having a little bit extra over the a uh, little bit of leftovers that I gave to you yes and uh Very nice. you can definitely tell the audience how they tasted absolutely delectable very very uh, scrumptious no really nice very sweet and yet, like you said the, those crab legs are easy to break up yeah you know you don't need a chainsaw to cut them up yeah you can actually <laughs> break them open or we use scissors yeah but i mean um yeah much easier to eat and yeah the alaskan ones are deadly if you don't <laughs> you gotta have oh. tools with you though i mean they're yeah. i think the meat's better of course but you know you <laughs> paid a price <laughs> you feel like you've gone a couple of rounds with uh edward scissor hands when yeah. you're uh <laughs> definitely on those big alaskan you have, you'll have a scar or two when you're by the time you're finished but so we, I don't even know what we paid for them. But recently, I've been watching TV in Japan, and everything's on sale because the recession has kind of started this new boom of everybody looking for the bargain more more than it was rec you know a year ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. And luckily, everything is starting to go on sale. Seafood, especially, you can get it for pretty cheap now. Like prawns and shrimp and and. Crab legs are definitely much cheaper than they used to be. Well, my brother was saying that uh, seafood is cheaper here than what it is in Australia. It's extremely that's pretty expensive, amazing, especially yeah. at Christmas. It's very expensive. Yeah, that's it's amazing. Crazy. Yeah, I mean oysters are cheap here. Like even just fillets of fish mm -hmm. uh, are much cheaper. You know, prawns are cheap. Wow. It's, you know, scallops are cheap. Can't it's complain. Can't complain. And uh, I was watching a, sh a show yesterday. They were at a fish market and. It's starting to be a new craze of haggling for prices. Before, people would just pay. But now all the old babas, all old ladies and, and the housewives are, are actually starting to, can you make it a little lower? You know, m the merchants aren't, aren't happy. But, you know, there, there's definitely a lot of, of uh, profit in the, in the prices, yeah, initially. You know, and then, you know, people are they're hurting a bit in the pocket these days. Yep. You know, they're, they're not, a lot of them didn't get winter bonuses, you know, a lot of the salarymen, yeah. or their bonuses were, were cut pretty dramatically. You know, their salaries haven't been cut, but their bonuses have. Yeah. They rely on that. Which, which is a used lot. to be a big portion of your salary. I mean, because yes. if I remember correctly, I think an entry level salary man, man makes about 140 to 160,000 a month yen, which is about 1,600 bucks, 14 to 600 bucks US. Plus, uh, bonuses, which are twice a year of three to five months, yeah. That's right. So that, with the bonuses, that's an that's a good starting pay. Without the bonuses, it it sucks. You might as well work at Lawson's, <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, that's it. Pop down to the American <coughs> Embassy and start working. Yeah, uh, there, you know, pumping out the burgers. So now, I mean, people are definitely hurting more than they were. And they're not shy about going to uh, the hundred yen shops these days, either, yep, are they? Yep. They've given that a real pump. And like Uniqlo. Well. Uniqlo is always packed these days, which is... Uh, the low end or lower uh, end? Lower end, but fashionable clothes, yeah. Yep. Like a Gap, but cheaper. Well, that's yeah. right. Gap. These days, it's, it's it's become quite popular, hasn't it? Yeah. Yep. And, the, and the styles are pretty good. There's, there's nothing wrong with... This might even be Uniqlo. I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to check, definitely. 
Okay, let's see. Shall we go into a story or two? Yes, we can. How about uh, you get into the story of the... Um, we've got enough time to do the winter gifts in this segment? Yes, yes, yes. The winter gifts for the children, yeah? Yes. So the winter gifts, it's a tradition to give money to kids. And uh, if you're married to a Japanese person and they have a big family, this can be an expensive <laughs> time, of, time year. of year. And uh, I think I have at least four people to give money to. At That's least uh, four people to give money to. This ease up on those kids. You know, yeah. go easy on the kids. So, so um, um, depends. Sometimes you only have to give 5000 Sometimes you got to give 15000 20000 so we're talking, you know, hundreds of dollars of gifts. Of course, the richer you are, the more you give. But there's certain um, minimums that you kind of have to give. But uh, not looking forward to it. <laughs> Got to have the special envelopes. You put the money in it, you give it to them. It's called Toshidama or Otoshi, Otoshidama. Toshi is year, yeah. So the and dama, I don't know what dama is, but money probably. <laughs> but it's cool to receive. Yes, but now, uh, now that you know, I'm older. I have a family. I have to give too. When so, you're on the other end, yeah, it hurts a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, and I told the wife, let's let's not give this year. So she's like, no, we can't. I said, this sucks. How are we gonna save money? She goes, oh, we have to move back to America to save money. <laughs> so I was like, mm, okay, let's give out some money. But uh, do you have to give any of this at all? Do you guys? I. Uh, I haven't checked with uh, with the wife, but I think we've got a, a, a couple to hand out a bit of cash to, yeah. A couple of cousins. Or yeah, they always seem to come around at this time of year. Yeah, you don't see them. You don't see them the whole year, but... And, you know, when it comes around, they're like bloody seagulls on the local <laughs> tip, you know. Pay me, pay me, you know. Pay me, pay me. Good God. We need donations. <laughs> you know, it's expensive. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. just nuts. Okay, so yeah, this it's a yearly thing. I'm not even sure if it's Japanese only. It might be Buddhist. China has is the it same Buddhist? It's probably a Buddhist Could tradition. Be. China is China has the same deal, except mm. it's the money is given in a red envelope. Envelope it must be a small red envelope. Ah, okay. I don't know when they give it. Maybe the Chinese New Year. I think that's when it's handed out. But uh, it's the same sort of deal. It's for the kids. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah so, so it's it's one of those unnecessary. It's cool to give. I mean, if you're a kid, you, you're styling, yeah. Yeah, you're laughing. And the right. kids usually, not only want to say usually, most of the time they save it. Yeah, they don't just go blow it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so they it's save it, and it's, and it's often they save it for years and years and years, and then college, and you know. And then when they become, you know, older and parents, or whatever, then it's their turn to. Yep. Give it up. Give it up. It up. <laughs> like you said, the money's recycled here. It doesn't go anywhere. It just no. goes around in circles. Around in circles, and it's, it'd be nice if you can just kind of stick your hand and grab the money while it goes. Around. Goes around in circles without being involved in the circle. It's the same as the winter gifts. Yeah. You know, like, I've got a box of 32 apples out there. We did have, and uh, we circulated the apples. <laughs> Definitely. I tried to, give, tried to palm some off to you, but you got in oh, before no, me. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Good God. I mean, we, we, you love some apples, ago. but you don't need a case of apples. <laughs> Man, yeah, it was a case of pears two weeks ago. Case and grapes. And grapes. Um, but you just can't eat. Who eats a full box unless you've got... 10 people in the family yeah. like, you know so you definitely got to pass them around so oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's definitely gift giving season fruits money yeah. you know and then those uh, those those bags at the uh, department stores that that you can buy that you have no idea what's inside but if you oh yes the like the surprise bags yeah or whatever surprise bags and the cool thing is sometimes you'll get you know Lucky and have like a Louis Vuitton bag in there or whatever. You will get a surprise. There's some, uh, you know, some good yeah, stuff so in there sometimes. These special gift bags that are sealed up. You, you don't know what's in it. You just take your chance by buying it. Like, was it five thousand yen or yeah. or something like that? Some are a thousand in the cheapest. Yeah, thousand. And then they they put random stuff in there. You never know what you're gonna get. So occasionally you'll get, you'll get a really good prize. And segment two is over. Okay, that's so it. So let's stop the recording and wait for segment three. Two is over.